welcome to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Angeline. For those of you who do, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to do something just a little bit different. So instead of my normal makeup stuff or skincare, I'm actually going to have you guys come through with me on toning my hair. So my hair has been through a lot ever since I decided to lighten it. I'm eventually working my way to be darker again, go back to my natural. But since I have lightened it quite a bit, um, I don't want to go back quite yet. But as you can see, my roots are starting to grow in and everything. Um, so yeah, so we're going to work my way back to dark, but for now we're still keeping it light. So to start off, I just want to let you guys know I am a licensed cosmetologist. I do not recommend doing this on your own if you are not comfortable with it. Um, but if you are, great. Let's go ahead and go for it. Um, and I will guide you through how I'm going to do it on my own. And then, especially if maybe you're on a budget or something like that this is good to do it at home however please 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 do not use box color it's actually really bad for your hair so the products i'm using are redken shades eq um colors these are the gloss kind and they look at they're in containers like this and then you'll use the processing solution like this. I got mine at uh, Salon Centric. However, you do need your license in order to shop there. If you do want to get color, I think you guys can go to Sally Beauty Supply. Um, they don't. You don't need a license there, uh, as far as I know. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. But I got all my stuff at Salon Centric, including the uh, little mixture bottle we're going to be using, my gloves, and then my chemical cape, um, something so it doesn't get all over my clothes and skin. Also, I highly recommend that you use like Vaseline or petroleum jelly and just put it along your hairline so it doesn't stain your skin. However, neat trick, color washes out color on your skin. I know that doesn't make any sense, but if you do, if you just rub some of the extra color and it'll wash it out. Um, it doesn't stain permanently, guys, so... Don't worry there, but it might stain a little bit if you get it. I'm going to go ahead and do my mixtures off camera. I'll be right back and I will list the ratios below. So if you are interested, go ahead and check that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so in the directions, it does say that for however many ounces of color you use, you're going to use equal um, amounts of the processing solution. So that's what I have done. I have four ounces total. A little trick to shake it up so it doesn't wind up exploding is if you squeeze the bottle first, let the air out, put the cap on, and shake it. So that way you got to make sure it's mixed nicely. I'm already draped now. I know I look funny, but I do not want color on my clothes, on my skin. You really don't want the chemical touching your skin, so make sure you put your gloves on too. I know sometimes you see um, people, hairstylists, do color without gloves. That's what they prefer, though the chemicals could affect your skin, making it really dry or however you might react to it. So I always use gloves, but that's my preference. Okay, so for this process, since it's going to be a long one, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse it. It'll go pretty quickly. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to part each section of my hair, just thin partings squeeze a little bit like in a zigzag and rub it through, blend it in. Uh
Okay, so my cape fell off. So now that the color is all through my hair, I'm just going to use a really big, like, wide tooth comb and brush it all through so it's distributed nice and evenly. If you can get a friend to help you do this, please do. Um, it's definitely kind of hard coloring your own hair, but I don't have anybody right now, and um, at least it's over right now. And I wanted to do it. So, also if you have a friend to help you do this, coloring it, combing the whole process, um, then you'll know everywhere's pretty even. So I'm hoping I got the back of my hair pretty well. But, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm liking the color so far. Again, the way it looks with the color in it, though, is not exactly the way it's going to look when you wash it out. So what I'm going to do is, oh great, i got hair all over my face. So now, now that I've brushed it through, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and let it sit or s process do its thing for 20 to 30 minutes or whatever your color says. So make sure you read the directions. Um, and I'm going to rinse out my bottle, do a few chores while it processes. And I will be back. Um, I'll go ahead and wash it out and then I'll be back and we'll go ahead and blow dry in style. And we're back! So I washed it all out. I used Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it came out. I always wrap my hair in a towel after. My hair is so thick and so much. So a towel needs to soak it up. Okay! You can't see too much on camera but in the mirror it actually looks really good. It took out that yellow tint and kind of added that rose goldy reddish um, back into my hair which is perfect because I am working my way towards red. So that's good. I just am not ready to fully go red yet. That's why I'm still staying light and just toning it a bit. So um, let's go ahead and blow dry it so then that way we can see a little bit better what it looks like and then honestly I'm just about ready for bed so we're just going to do a quick blow dry and see how it turns out. Uh, first things first, you have to protect your hair from the heat, so I'm going to use the Redken Pillow Proof. So I did a quick flash blow dry. I love it. It took out the yellowy tones that I did not want, those unwanted yellows, and it gave me more of a goldeny, uh, natural tone look. So since this is toning your hair, again, it's not going to be a dramatic change. It's just something that just gets rid of unwanted tones. And this is my version of the quick, easy, fast way lazy way to do that. Um, I'm not going to style it for you guys in this video. That's just because I do have my next video planned. It is a get ready with me and I will style it there as well as do my makeup and everything. Kind of like my morning routine and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about myself. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you guys don't miss out. Um, and let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Before I go to bed, because clearly I'm ready for bed, comfy cozy pajamas, my pajama set, yes, and I am going to go ahead and spray my hair with the Redken 25 Benefits. My hair, again, has been through it all. I loved being blonde. I did. It was fun. I did it, and I can say I did it now. <laughs> Looks good, however... It really, really, really took a toll on my hair how many times I lightened it. I was pretty dark. You can see my roots. So I do have pretty dark brown hair. And it took about five to seven times to even get blonde. And then I did a rose gold. And that was like another time that I lightened my hair. So 
My hair's been through a lot, and my ends are dying and breaking off easy, and they're dry and brittle, so I'm trying to do whatever I can to repair it as I go darker. So the 25 Benefits is helpful, so I'll spray that through. This is also a really good like heat protectant and stuff. Anytime you apply a uh, heat to your hair, whether it be your blow dryer, your straightener, curling iron, you want to apply a heat protectant so then that way your hair doesn't get more damaged. And then I'm just going to brush that through so it's evenly dispersed all over. I also do like hair masks, uh, moisture masks. Um, you can get hair treatments as well like at your salon and whatnot and that's good for your hair especially if you color it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I really really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the support is so helpful to me so and I really 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 love it and appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.